What's up guys, Mindless again. I wanted to share another piece. First of all, I want to apologize for the couple week hiatus I took. Been slammed at work and family obligations and I literally didn't couldn't find half an hour to make a video and wait the hour to upload it. So forgive me. I do my best to uh, remain consistent. I know when I uh, subscribe to a channel, I appreciate when the videos come out regularly. So first, I'd like to apologize. But we're back. Um, it's Blade Show weekend, and um, those family obligations and work obligations actually kept me from going, unfortunately. Um, it was all booked, and I'm not getting refunds, so I'm kind of pissed. However, this is where the relationship with the you know other collectors and dealers kicks in. I've got Sako from Recon One out there representing me on a few um, pieces. He's proxying for me, so just keep that in mind. If you can't make it out to a show, you could always uh, have someone else represent you at the show. And, uh, you know, you want to have a relationship with them prior to them leaving to the show so they know exactly what you're into. You know, you don't want them telling you about pieces that you're just not interested in or a style that's not your, you know, your thing. But that being said, it's all about this knife in front of us. And this is pretty cool, guys. This is a new model um, from Dan Galloway and Lee Williams. And what they've called it is the Bentley. Uh, it's spelled just like the car. It is a kickstop flipper. And uh, I wanted to share it with you because this is the only one um, that will be a kickstop according to the information provided by uh, the makers. So about a month or two ago, they had a USN auction to um, basically introduce this piece to the world. Uh, this model is uh, technically a Dan Galloway model um, built with uh, the aid of Lee Williams as well as his kickstop technology or you know, whatever feature, whatever you want to call it. But I honestly didn't know this auction was going on. And as soon as it ended, I saw it. And a good, good friend of mine ended up picking it up. So I, uh, we had met up to do some trading um, like we do regularly. And he, he had this on him. And he's like, tell me what you think about this knife. And I grabbed it. And I was immediately struck by a couple things. And I knew that I wanted it. I mean, not not simply because you know the features but it is actually a one-off it's going to be the only kickstop they're making uh, dan's making this piece the bentley as a flipper but to have the kickstop feature and you guys know who watch my channel i'm a big fan of the kickstop and and there's a couple other things here that make this the pushes knife over the top and i just want to share it with you because honestly i hadn't even seen it before this is literally a new model um again just come out in the last couple months so um a little bit about the knife. It is a uh, hand rub satin CPM 154 blade. Obviously, it's got the kickstop feature, Lee Williams stuff. Um, overall length is about eight and three quarter inches, so it's a perfect you know EDC carry. The blade length is uh, three and five eighths, so 3.625 inches, and it's just it's a gem to handle. It really is, guys. Uh, the first thing you notice, the first thing I noticed as soon as I held it was the weight. Um, it's been heavily skeletonized. Even even the uh, kickstop flipper tab has been heavily skeletonized. I mean, they've left very little, little material. They've kind of cut out as much as they can without losing the rigidity of the steel. Um, at the end, it's basically a titanium, you know, kickstop kind of bolster lock thing going on. But if you look closely, the amount of detail is... is considerable. I mean, this is definitely done on a CNC. Um, and I, I know it's Lee Williams technique. He, this is, this screams Lee Williams. So you're looking at titanium orange peeled, marbled carbon fiber. And they're calling these, it's a windowed handles, how they're, they're referring to it. So two, two holes. And then this large window on the middle. Uh, this is actually not zirconium. It's black and titanium. The backspacer, however, is zirconium. And it has that that kind of black with a hint of rainbow in it. If you guys know what I'm talking about, you'll know what I'm talking about, basically. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. It is exceptionally light, but not, I, I can't convey this over a video, but it's not cheaply light, if you follow. It doesn't feel cheap. It doesn't feel plastic. It feels light like a you know, high-performance sports car is light, and it doesn't feel cheap. It's not like the wind's going to blow it away. It feels solid. 
the flipping action is ridiculous, but it's so light. Also, it's extremely thin. So when you carry it, and I've carried it a few times, it's a great gentleman's carry, um, it literally disappears. You hear people say that all the time, it disappears in the pocket. This actually disappears. I caught myself forgetting it was in my pocket and almost scratching this up, jumping in and out of my car on the seatbelt. So it, you do forget it's in your pocket. But I wanted to share it with you guys because I think it's something cool, something special. I mean, the work that's gone into it is obvious. The, the, it's, it's, a, it's a frame lock, but it's been overlaid with the CF, so it's maybe a bolster lock? I don't know. It is just stunning. And the action does not disappoint. It is a kickstop, so flips super hard. Uh, it's just a great looking knife. To me, I was immediately drawn to it. Um, I just like it. I don't know why. I, I can't really describe it. It's like, you know, when you, you know, when you like something and this one was it for me. So I ended up trading, um, another piece for this. And I think it was an absolutely fair, fair trade. Um, I'm just stoked that my buddy was willing to, uh, to move it along to me because I, I think I liked it a lot more than he did. I know he likes it, but I was really feeling this. Um, you know, you guys know that I've been trying to like move the collection towards more exotic materials and, and this isn't that. However, I do have a weakness for marble carbon fiber. Yeah. It's a material that's heavily used in like high end watches and stuff like that. And I've been drawn to it since it's been available in the market. You see a lot of it in like Richard Meal watches or uh, Hublot. They like to use it. It's very, very it's got the rigidity and strength of carbon fiber, but it doesn't have that patterned look, which is nice too, but this, the, the randomness of it almost looks like smoke or clouds. It lends itself well to knife making and I'm, I'm a big fan of it. Recently, I haven't seen, it was a lot more popular, I'd say 12, 18 months ago, and I think it has something to do with availability of the product. Marbled carbon fiber and this type of marble carbon fiber um, is becoming more and more rare to get. You're seeing a lot more shredded or linear like carbon fiber. This OG marble carbon fiber though, to me is just gorgeous. I tried to get the lighting right so you can kind of see the patterning. Um, and the video doesn't kind of show it well, but in real life, I know a lot of you guys are into these high end knives. If, you, if you've handled a, mar uh, you know, a marbled CF handle, you know that it has almost a three dimensional effect where you're looking through layers as the light hits it. And this one does exactly the same thing, so. I kind of jumped all over it and I know it's not Timascus or Mokotai, but it is a one-off and it would, and supposedly it's going to be the only Bentley that's a kickstop. So I um, feel real fortunate to have it and been able to add it to the collection. Um, another thing that you, you kind of notice, or I noticed right away, it was obviously it's dead center, but look at how much space is, remains in the handle. Almost like they could have, you know, stretched this blade out from three and five eighths to maybe three and seven eighths, go to 3.875 inches. But I get it. I mean, it, it looks good, but there's just a lot, little bit of space in there that I, I'm not used to seeing on Lee's knives. You know, he kind of maximizes his work. But other than that, there is absolutely nothing wrong with this thing. It's perfection. If you take a look at the tolerances, I mean, it's so tight. This thing screams Lee Williams. And if for guys, if you don't know, Dan Galloway actually, as the story goes, and I've been told, actually learned... Um, from Lee Williams on how to be a knife maker. Uh, they've been friends for a long time, both from Texas, and Lee uh, basically took him in and showed him the ropes and began to show him how to do it. Now, Dan on his own right, supposedly, as I've been told, is an excellent machinist, so he didn't need that help, but design-wise, uh, you know, the little tricks and tips and tricks that you pick up over the years as a knife maker, someone like Lee Williams has been doing it for a long time, he was able to share that with Dan and kind of accelerate the learning process and ultimately he's able to put these this type of product out all of dan's pieces the, the mongoose these other knives that he has are phenomenal knives absolutely phenomenal and in general um when i ask lee or other people that collect i've been told that he he makes his knives at lee's grindhouse so all the equipment that lee uses all the machinery is available for dan so you know, and you know Lee's there, so you know that there's some interaction between the two of them, whether or not it's a it's a collaboration or a kickstop or not. You you can kind of see the influence or the touch of Lee Williams on Dan's knives, and that is a great thing because the pricing on Lee Williams knives has gone through the roof. 
Dan's knives are, yes, they're expensive. They're full customs and they're, they're limited production. However, you can basically get something of a Lee William knives caliber for a lot less price. And that's something that can't be ignored. And in general, when you're collecting, quality of the piece, quality of design, if you're collecting as an investment, which I don't really do, but if you are, you can get something of the highest quality for a lot less price. And that's something that's amazing. So I encourage you to take a look at Dan's uh, USN sub forum, keep an eye on, on what's available in the market because every once in a while you'll be able to pick up a really nice piece. And many times it's kickstop for half the price of a Mayo Williams kickstop or a Barker Williams a shit on a Barker is probably about a quarter of the price. So if you ever see a Dan knife and you're questioning, you don't know, if the Galloway knife is for you, I'm, I'm telling you guys, the quality is absolutely there. It absolutely is. And if it has his name, Galloway, and you see Lee Williams' um, maker's mark on the blade, you need to jump on that right away. That is that is my two cents, and I stand behind that. If you can grab a Kickstop Galloway, you will love it. I guarantee it. Now, back specifically to this knife. Um, something about the way it's designed, it has this like nose down kind of shape. When it flips, it feels like it should kind of extend a little bit more and it's stopping right there. So it creates this, you feel the blade hitting the stop part of the kickstop very hard and it's, it's really satisfying and it makes a great audible sound. It's just, it's killer. It sounds great, very free flowing. There you go, you can kind of catch it. It flips so hard, you can't really fail. It's tuned so well, I mean, you can half flip it from here and complete the flip. It's that good. Um, it's just absolutely stunning. When you're looking through it and you see the windows, quote, windows cut into it, it's kind of shocking how much weight it has saved. I wish I had a scale. I just don't even own a scale. So, But I'm telling you guys, this is probably one of the lightest knives for its size in my entire collection. And uh, I think it's unique. You know, I think... Dan's design, he did something He did something good here. This does not look like anything else. I mean, yeah, obviously, you comparisons can be made, and I'm not even going to say to whom. However, it is by no means a copy. This is an original design, and um, I love it. I love it. I've had it for about uh, a month, three weeks, and um, I've carried it quite a few times. Just really satisfying, you know, that... If you feel that itch to just keep flipping a knife, this one definitely satisfies. It has just such a good feel on the flipping action that, you know, it's there. It's there. And this is a piece that I hope to keep uh, for a while. I'm actually considered just putting it into the EDC rotation and carrying it. But just the thought of scratching up that satin kind of freaks me out a little bit. The 600 grit was used for the, uh, the satin. You can kind of see it clear. Let me try to get the light on it for you guys. It's just executed perfectly. I mean, perfectly straight. The bevel, polished, it's a mirror edge. It's just perfection. This top swedge running back, it's just, to me, guys, it's my opinion, just my opinion. I think this is an absolutely beautiful knife. So I just wanted to bring it in front of you guys so you can take a close look at it. Um, I know myself and a lot of people didn't even know it existed. So keep an eye out for this new model. Again, it's called the Bentley. It is a Dan Galloway design. This is the Kickstop one-off collaboration with Lee Williams uh, to roll out or introduce this design to the world. It was a USN auction and uh, stoked to have it enter the collection. So thanks so much for uh, supporting the channel, guys. I appreciate it more than you'll ever know. Um, recently, I've been getting some great conversations in the comments and people disagreeing with what I'm saying or why I do what I do, and I freaking love that. Half of collecting is the conversation with other collectors, so I encourage you to share your thoughts on the comments, and I will do my best to reply. I, I try literally to reply to each and every message. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Um, and if you dug it, throw me a thumbs up. I'd totally appreciate it. But, fellas, Kickstop Bentley, thanks for stopping in and watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.